week on Portage County Playmakers, I wanted to preview next week's Metro Division Football Report and conclude with an in-person interview of Athlete of the Week, Colton Harsh. Next week's Metro Division Football Report will highlight the early success of Crestwood and Field, who both have undefeated 2-0 records to start the season. Let's start with Crestwood. Last year they finished with an even 5-5 record overall and a 4-3 record in the league, which was good enough for a third place overall finish behind Kent Roosevelt and Norton. This season, they returned 16 lettermen, evenly distributed on both offense and defense. The Red Devils brought back the most experience they've had in three years and have made an early impact on their season goal of improving the 500 record from last year. So far, they beat Marlington and West Branch. In week one, Crestwood beat West Branch by a score of 49 to 26. Last week, they beat Marlington by a score of 40 to 31. This week, they will have Southeast at home. Last week, Field actually beat Southeast by a score of 28-7. The Falcons also started their season with a lot of dominance, taking down Minerva in Week 1 by a score of 28-21. This week, they will have a tough match in Struthers at home. Field finished 3-7 overall last year and 3-3 three three in the league. A win this week would tie the team's total wins from a year ago. Like Crestwood, Field also had a solid group of returners with 14. After losing in a lot of close games last year, the Falcons want to improve on their sub-500 record. So far, they are on track to do so. While they've never beaten Struthers, they had never beaten Minerva before this season either. A full analysis of both teams will be published next week on Wednesday in the Metro Division Football Report. Now on to my interview with Southeast Soccer standout Colton Harsh. What's your biggest goal for your senior year? The uh, biggest goal of this year is obviously to have fun, enjoy the enjoy my last senior year, but um, with PTC is something we've never accomplished here at Southeast, and it's something that uh, you know, we're working hard every day to try to accomplish this year get that big. Okay. Um, what are you going to miss most about Southeast soccer after you graduate? Uh, here at Southeast, you know, everybody's family. It's more than just a school after a big game. Uh, come up, heard you had a good game last night, good win last night, played well, I mean it's just, it's a tight, it's, it's a strong unity here in Southeast, and that's something I'm going to really miss once I leave here. Okay, and um, the last thing I wanted to ask is can you tell me a little bit about your plans after high school, um, what you want to study, and whether or not you would like to play soccer in college? Um, obviously college soccer is something that's always been a dream of mine, something I would uh, obviously love doing, but uh, I'd like to maybe attend a small college and play, and then uh, study environmental science. I love biology; it's my favorite class in school. And I just, um, it's just something that I really enjoy. I really love being outdoors and just uh, 